Greetings, wise ones, and welcome or welcome back to the 8th House Wisdom channel. I'm Melissa of 8th House Wisdom, author, psychotherapist, business astrologer, feminine energy, and stellar planning expert. On this channel, we help you leverage the power and wisdom of moon cycles through astrology and lunar wisdom formula applications for business with female entrepreneurs, executives, and professionals. I'm here with a business astrology focused video about Leo season, intuitive tools for career and business that align with the last quarter moon in Taurus. This is the midway point between the full and new moons and of the passive yin energy phase that occurs in the moon. This makes it a perfect time to review, rest, and recover from the activity and output of the last three weeks, especially the intensity of the full moon, which occurred a week ago. We'll be diving into how to use Leo's passionate, creative, and fun-loving energy and Taurus's grounding and practical nature to enhance your business visibility and success in Q3. So stay tuned for the rest of the video and make sure to give it a thumbs up so that it can be shared with more wise ones via the YouTube algorithm. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel for Superstar Business Astrology applications to create alignment, balance your yin and yang energies, and help you experience more ease and flow in your big career life by keeping you in your soft girl era. Here we are, wise ones, in the midst of Leo season, which brings us a vibrant, creative, passionate energy that encourages us to shine in our professional and career lives. Leo is ruled by the sun, and the sun in astrology represents our sense of visibility and how we shine within our innate talents and offer them to the public at large. As an archetype, Leo represents the creatress with energy that inspires us to be bold, passionate, and fun-loving. And it's great to apply that to our business and career projects. This energy is perfect for thinking about branding and visibility when it comes to female entrepreneurs, leaders, and professionals looking to enhance their public recognition, visibility, and to make a lasting impact. This is enhanced by the experience of the last quarter moon in Taurus and the bringing in of the Taurus archetype which is the Earth Maiden. Here we have a dynamic, energetic lineup that is made up of fixed authority signs, which are known as the managers of the zodiac and are the four signs that hold up the four corners of the globe. When it comes to the Taurus Earth Maiden energy, it brings us a grounded and practical sense that helps us focus on stability, sensuality, and the material aspects of our lives, especially when applied to business and career. The combination of Leo and Taurus energies, which mashes up the creatress and the earth maiden, provides a unique opportunity to blend creativity with practicality, which makes the next 24 hours as peak time in the next two and a half days, an ideal time to employ more innovative, internally focused skills in our work relations and career environments because it favors the yin passive portion of the lunar cycle and the current energy dynamic. In the rest of this video, I'll be sharing eight tips for working with these dynamic, fixed, and authoritative energies and archetypes during the final week of the July lunar month to help you attract more visibility, shine brighter, and achieve greater success in Q3. It's important to remember that in working with this energy, 
we also want to think about ourselves personally and remember that the last two weeks or the yin intuitive feminine energy cycle of the moon is a prime time to prioritize aspects of self-care rest restorative practices and review so that you are ready to go again once we reach the start of the next new moon. So I want to encourage you to grab a copy of your personal nail chart and business chart if you have one. And let's get ready to dive into this very useful information to help utilize the quality of energy and time to shine bright and win big during Leo season. To apply the information in this video, click the link below to get a free copy of your birth chart. Understand your planetary placements and get your planet positions at birth so you know where all the signs are in your chart. So let's get into these eight tips starting with number one, which is vision boarding. Leo's creative and visionary energy makes it the perfect time to create a vision board specifically for your business and career goals. Make sure to use images, words, and symbols that resonate with your aspirations and the qualities of Leo, the creatress. The use of visual representation will help you stay focused and motivated and enhance your manifestational abilities during this period of time. Tip number two is journaling. Daily journaling is another excellent tool to harness during this feminine energy portion of Leo season. Reflect on your business journey, jot down new ideas, and explore aspects of your creative side. This practice allows you to connect with your inner thoughts and feelings, providing valuable insight into your business as well as helps you to utilize the feminine or yin energy qualities that the moon is bringing us with the Taurus last quarter moon and to blend them with the masculine dominant and passionate energies of Leo, which is a masculine sign and tends toward action and outward movement. Tip number three is creative workshops. Now is a wonderful time to engage in or host a creative workshop that is focused on expression, whether that is art or other forms of creativity. These activities can inspire innovative thinking and help you to approach business challenges from new angles. Tip number four is meditation and visualization. Meditate on your business goals and visualize your success. You can use the vision board that we talked about in tip number one to help you do just that. Also think about the use of guided meditations that focus on boosting confidence and attracting positive outcomes, which can be particularly effective during the zodiac season. Leo's energy supports boldness, self-assurance, and making visualization a really potent tool for manifesting in your business and career. Tip number five is grounded creativity. When you combine Leo's creative spark with Taurus's practicality, you get a sense of grounded creativity. That to me sounds like the perfect mashup of the archetypes, the creatress and the earth maiden. And through implementing innovative ideas in a structured, sustainable manner, you embody the mix of these two energies and work seamlessly with the quality of energy and time over the next week. This grounded creativity ensures that your visionary projects have a solid foundation to grow from, which ultimately ensures greater visibility and shine. Tip number six is sensual branding. 
The last quarter moon in Taurus brings about sensual, physical qualities to tone the container of energy in the next week. And when I speak about sensual, I'm not focused on the more carnal, sexual implications of sensuality, but more the five senses and embodiment sense of this. Utilize Taurus's Earth Maiden energy to enhance your brand's sensory appeal by encouraging an appreciation for beauty. And then add in Leo's flair for the dramatic and desire to create. This can help you form a captivating brand presence that appeals to the senses, which is definitely a must when targeting female avatars in business and attracts attention and visibility that helps your business and brand grow. Depending upon where you are at within your business or your department, this could involve a complete rebranding project or it could look like updating your website, addressing your marketing material, or anything else that stands for or represents the work, service, or business that you do. Tip number seven is passionate productivity. Channel Leo's passion into your daily tasks over the next week by setting clear and achievable goals. Then follow up using Taurus's steady determination to accomplish them. This combination of passionate productivity ensures that you stay motivated and productive throughout the day and for the next week as we make our way to dark of the moon and finally approach the Leo new moon. And finally, tip number eight is joyful collaboration. Leo rules the fifth house and is known as the joy of the sun because it is the place that the sun feels at home. This gives us a potent, joyful vibe that we can take into fostering collaborative work and collaborative environments in our business and careers that value both creativity and stability. Encourage team members to bring their unique talents to the table and work together harmoniously. Joyful collaboration can lead to more innovative solutions and a more enjoyable, softer work environment. So there you have it, wise ones. My eight creative business tips for female entrepreneurs, executives, and leaders to think about how to utilize the passionate, joyful energy of the Leo Sun in conjunction with the earthy, grounded, practical last quarter moon in Taurus. These energies provide us with a powerful blend of creativity and practical energy. And through harnessing these dynamics focused on in the video, you can elevate your business brilliance and attract more visibility and shine in your career or work areas for Q3. Remember to use vision boarding, journaling, creative workshops, meditation, and visualization to tap into Leo's energy. And when you combine this with Taurus's grounded creativity, sensual branding, passionate productivity, and joyful collaboration, we have a wonderful plan as well as a holistic approach to business success over the next week and throughout Leo season. I hope that you have received some useful nugget of information about the quality of time and energy and how this will help you to stellar plan for the upcoming week as we move towards the new moon in Leo. I want to thank you for watching if you're still here and if you've enjoyed this video please make sure to give it a thumbs up comment below and share this with other wise ones who might benefit from these insights 
And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the Eighth House Listen channel for more business astrology applications to help you create alignment, balance your yin and yang energy, and experience more ease and flow in your business and career life. I hope that this video enables you to embrace your inner glow and let your business brilliance shine because I always say life and business do come with an instruction manual. It is written in the stars. Until next time, stay wise and stay brilliant. Bye for now. Are you ready for a stellar breakthrough? In this 30 minute free stellar breakthrough analysis, we'll identify the top five things that might be holding you back from aligning to your personal stellar success cycles. And the one thing that you need to do to move forward into ease and grace. Current energy vibes, the year ahead, your story, whatever you need to discuss related to the flow, timing, and planning in your life, we can start to work it out using astrology. Book your private session today by clicking the link below, or just come to the website and see what service works for you. I'd love to be your stellar planning and lunar wisdom formula guide to living a soft life in business and beyond. Check out my new Etsy store called Stellar Planning Tools to get some of my newest products to support you in applying stellar planning, the lunar wisdom formula, lunar self-care, and to expand your manifesting practice. My new series, The Wise Woman's Mindset and Self-Care Guides, are being offered exclusively on Etsy. These guides were created to assist you in living with more ease, grace, and with a process to make lasting change in your life check them out. Link is in the description below. Discover the keys to your life's path and purpose by reading the stars with a free personal astrology report sample from 8th House Wisdom. From obstacles to opportunities, these reports teach you what you need to know to thrive. Try out any of these eight types of astrology reports two multi-package reports and one tarot reading in the 8th House Wisdom Astro Report store before you buy them. They're available for immediate download and specific to you, your life, and your unique birth information. Self-care isn't selfish. It's absolutely necessary for a soft life. Click the link below to get my free top seven beauty therapy and self-care tips and the beauty therapy checklist. Learn to manifest by the moon with my astrology ebook, The Lunar Wisdom Formula. It helps women Stay in tune with feminine energy and manifest a life that feels as good as it looks. The 2023 edition comes with a bonus moon calendar and important dates. Click the link in the description below. Get more out of your beauty treatments and self-care by aligning them with the moon's mood and phase. In my astrology ebook, The Lunar Wisdom Formula for Beauty and Self-Care. This guide does all the hard work for you so you can get greater benefits from your self-care and live a softer life by the moon. Link in the description below. Introducing our newest book, Guide to Herbal Remedies, 
packed with information on how to use herbs and plants to promote health and well-being. The guide includes detailed information on a wide range of herbs and their healing properties, as well as recipes for teas, tinctures, and other remedies you can make at home. Whether you're looking to boost your immune system, reduce stress and anxiety, or treat common ailments, this guide has everything you need to get started with natural healing. Join us as we explore the world of herbal remedies and discover how you can use the power of plants to support your health and well-being. Plus, two bonus items for getting herbal tools and using herbs to smudge so you can round out your herbal med medicine cabinet and toolkit. Crystals are a fantastic tool to harmonize and ground your energy. Use my coupon code, 8th House Wisdom, for 11% off high quality, ethically sourced crystals. Click the link in the description below to shop today. Think, speak, and grow in abundant 2024 by downloading a free copy of the 2024 Stellar Year Blueprint. It's my formula for applying astrology to align your life to the natural cycles for greater ease and grace. Click the link in the description below to download yours today. Get an in-depth look at the astrology of 2024 and more information about my stellar planning process with this free workshop, Stellar Planning for 2024. Think, speak, and grow an abundant new year. Click the link in the description below to watch now. Remember, wise ones, life does come with an instruction manual. It's written in the stars. Please like, share, and comment on this video. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Sending you so much light and love. Take care.